archaeological park here in Pelling and we are walking to see some ruins. So this place is in Rabanse and Rabanse was the second capital of Sikkim. It's an 800 meter walk from the entrance and there is also a bird sanctuary here but it's not yet opened. Some of these stones look extra shiny. It's all glittery. So I think it's because of the box site. Rabtense was the second capital of the kingdom of Sikkim. So it dates back many centuries, but essentially before this there was another city of Yuksom that was actually the capital back then. Today Yuksom can be visited by tourists as well. There's a lot to see over there. Here though, there's a bunch of ruins. Um, you can see the old fortress. So the fortress isn't built like the usual kind. Uh, in fact, a lot of its uh, components are scattered all around the forest area and it's engulfed in thick foliage on all sides so it's extremely green and mossy and even the walls now considering how many centuries it's been all of the walls are also taken over and reclaimed by plants and uh, roots so it's really incredible to see and this is maintained by the ASI so it's a very important archaeological site in uh, Sikki. the remains of the residential complex of the cave. So this is the area of worship. So this was a very religious place. What's up? Wandering the streets of Pelling. On the search for fast food. Ah, there it is. We have a runner. Yet again for food.
<laughs> so we've got momos, we've got veg tukha, and I've got my tea. No more hungry. Now we need to stop that. Guess we're not done yet. Mmm, noodle soup. Mmm, soup. Mmm, noodle soup. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing. We are back at our hotel now. We have just ordered dinner and we are waiting for it to come. I had a wonderful time today. We have seen almost all the points here in Felling. In each of them, they're so unique and different and so beautiful. I really like the Kanchenjunga waterfalls. It was in between this cloud forest, and there were so many wild ferns around. Very and vast, <laughs> like even at Rambi waterfalls, we could go stand just right below the waterfall, and we could see that gush of water. Yeah, and the mist was just everywhere. It was brilliant. I personally liked the Big Buddha Temple at the Sky Bridge, uh, and uh, it was fun. Like actually knowing that that's the first uh, Sky Bridge in the whole country, so it was really nice. Especially seeing the the cloud cover over there and the Buddha appearing every now and then, disappearing every now and then. Even though it was see. like right there, like right in front of us. So we, I really enjoyed that. You guys, tell us which one was your favorite in the comments below. Entire sightseeing of Pelling took us. Around I think six yeah, to six seven hours. hours, and it it cost us interestingly about two thousand rupees. Uh, but this is like the off season rate, so the same trip if you do it in the peak season, that is in December January time, the same trip would cost you somewhere around four and a half thousand to five thousand. Mm -hmm. As far as we've heard, there are no share taxis, yeah. and you will have to hire a, a taxi for yeah, your like a private, private car. taxi. But the good part is they they don't make a fuss about how many people you are. As long as four. you fit in the vehicle, yeah. you're fine. During the tourist season, though, the the price is one thing that shoots up, and the second is you might even have to reserve cabs ahead because yeah. you don't always get them. So that's something to keep in mind. When it comes to stay, you do have a lot of options here, but in the tourist season, you might want to book them as well. Yeah, so that's important. And the the other thing is there's there's three levels of Pelling: Upper Pelling, Middle Pelling, and Lower Pelling. Right so now, if, we are at Upper Pelling. Yeah, if you end up staying in Middle Pelling, it might be a little cheaper. But of course, uh, you will also notice that the rooms are slightly smaller, smaller, or they don't have the kind of views that you get in Upper Pelling. Yeah. Right now, in the off season, it probably doesn't matter because everything is covered in clouds. Like you open our window, you open to the balcony. It's just clouds <laughs> everywhere. You're actually literally walking inside a cloud when we go out. Yeah, so there's there's not a lot you'll miss in that sense, but. Being in Upper Pelling puts you at the very center of all the action. Mm -hmm. Like all the restaurants are here, all the cafes are here, all the taxi stuff and from here. bakeries are here, mm -hmm. <laughs> and the taxi point. This is also called as traffic point or zero point. This is veg pali. It has a stuffing which they usually stop inside of Mumbai. And it has lots of vegetables too, and it's deep fried. And they've given a special sauce too. Can't wait to taste it. It looks so nice. Is it hot? It's very hot, and it feels so crispy. And this one is vegetable gyatuk. Uh, it's a form of tukpa, but it's made with. Uh, it has a lot more vegetables. Yeah. It has uh, raw onions on top, garnished with coriander as well. And there's a chutney. Oh, it's been so long since we had this new variety of food. There's so much food. <laughs> Our original plan was to leave tomorrow morning. But the weather is so nice and it's so beautiful here. I didn't want to leave, so we're gonna postpone the plan and gonna we are gonna stay here for another day. And tune in to the next vlog. The after. Yeah. Okay, I'm fainting. I'm not fainting. I'm out of breath. Let's go. Ahoy. Hey, haven't walked in a long time. What's for lunch, Shish? The greenery around. Stuff your face. Jump up. Okay. That's a pee incident. I captured okay. it.
bit. <laughs> go, go, go. Shishira is walking there so that we can shoot a video of her walking. Three, two, one, action. Why don't you be here? Gremlin. So as we are walking downhill, the discussion has been about which lens to use. Do we use the 1x lens or as the gremlin suggests... I'm not a gremlin. <laughs> he is still she's hang okay, she's very I'm very angry right now because the for the last... Lenny's going to be <laughs> so... <laughs> so which of the two lenses do you generally prefer? 1x or 0.5x? Oh, Tell no us in. Meat eggs. <laughs> eggs for meat. <laughs> He's not even recording. <laughs> Do tell us in your comments down below if you prefer a wide angle lens or, as the gremlin suggests, 1x. <laughs> Hello, friends. How do you deal with your husbands? It's so, so cute. Bye. Bye-bye! Blooper! <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know that it was you.